as, as a young boy. Yeah, I do. That was mm -hmm. a long time that ago. That was a really long time ago. <laughs> yeah, that was in the 70s, in fact. <laughs> uh, yeah, boy, that is a, definitely a Portland icon. That's a great story, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, hey, now shifting gears back to weather. Uh, we are going to have, as it pops right up there, Pet Walk forecast. Patchy morning fog this morning. We're already seeing it. It's going to be a cool morning. Temperatures in the 30s right now. We'll just top out around 40, around 10 a.m. or so. Afternoon, just some partial afternoon clearing. So it's going to be a dry day. So if you ever take the pets out, uh, they're not going to get wet today. Current conditions outside as we look downtown Portland right now, 37 degrees. Fog is moving in. Uh, relative humidity, 93%. Wind southeast at six miles per hour. Well, we are going to stay in the 30s most of this morning, and that fog's really going to stay socked in. And if you've got fog right now, you're going to continue to have it till probably around 10 or 11 a.m. this morning. A cool morning out there. Good morning, you folks down there in Seaside, 44 degrees. A quiet night out there on the beach, quiet morning. Satellite radar is dry right now, but as I widen it out and show you the wider view, there is a weak system off the British Columbia coast there. That'll continue to spread south and east over the afternoon today. And then it'll bring in some rain this evening, uh, mostly overnight tonight while we sleep. And it's going to be a short-lived event, probably two or three hours worth of rain while you sleep tonight. And then it'll clear out tomorrow again for another nice day on Saturday. 40 right now, Vancouver, 37, Portland, lower 30s down the valley there, 33s of both Salem and Eugene, 40s along the coast. And then a cool morning for you folks over there in uh, eastern and central Oregon as well, 31 at the Dalles and Madras at 24. Had a little bit of snow in Sun River uh, just the day before Thanksgiving, but that's melted off now. Current visibility is now four miles in Portland. Uh, you see as you go down in the central and southern end of the valley there, Salem one mile and below a mile now at Eugene again. Going to be a cool day. I don't expect Eugene and uh, Salem to get to probably just up above 40 for a daytime high today. So we've got the clouds and fog this morning. But notice those temperatures, they just slowly rise. 11 a.m. we're still at 40 degrees and we go to some partly cloudy skies in the afternoon with uh, temperatures uh, topping out right around uh, 45 or so for a daytime high today. So there it is, morning fog today, afternoon clearing on our weather headlines. One week system moving in overnight tonight. A uh, little bit of rain while you sleep and then uh, dry for the most part on Sunday. That looks like the best day in the next uh, three or four, especially over the weekend. Uh, you see those temperatures uh, mostly right around 50 for daytime highs last 10 days. We're going to be just a few degrees below average coming up today. Future cast. Shows a lot of clouds. Here's 430 in the afternoon. Clouds, no rain, but a lot of clouds still sticking around. Fog and low clouds in the valley. And then there's that next system. I'll stop it at 4 a.m. tomorrow. It's a weak one, fairly uh, thin, and then it moves off to the south and east fairly quickly. And then we dry it out on Sunday. Rainfall forecast shows and yeah, maybe 15 one hundredths of an inch or so, a little more than a tenth of an inch, a uh, quarter of an inch or so along the coast. And um, little, if any, making it over to the east side of the Cascades for you folks over there in central and eastern Oregon. Okay, seven day forecast. We'll call it partly cloudy today after morning fog. Temperatures in the mid 40s. Saturday morning showers give way to afternoon clearing. Temperatures in the upper 40s. And then Sunday, there's that nice dry day. And then uh, back to rainfall again next Monday as we move into December on Tuesday, guys. Thank you very much, Steve.